It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the 49ers and the Rams. And it comes your way next on EA Sports. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gordon alongside the one and only Charles Davis and CD. Lots of compelling storylines in a game like this. Let's take a look at some of the numbers for these two offenses. And I'm glad you brought up the numbers because sometimes it's hard to quantify a team's performance solely by judging the numbers. But I think with these two teams, what you see is a pretty accurate representation of who they are. to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. He'll get it up only to about the 24. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked out all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Young on third down. Going up top. That one will be incomplete. He caught it, but could not stay in bounds for the long connection. So that one will be accepted. So out come the Rams down for their first possession. 
position. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. First down, Everett. Got a man and he hits him in stride. A gain of six there on first. A six yard pickup brings up the second and three at the 36 yard line. Second and four. Looking to throw, Everett. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. This tight end, he steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb Do it! Do it! Craig. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. He was brought down at the 13-yard line. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Out of the gun, it's Young. The open man is Clark, complete. The completion there lines up a wash and it'll bring up third down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down. Brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Let's go, Let's go. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. 
So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves just that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Now he dumps this off over the middle. That catch good for only a couple. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On second down now, Dickerson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. They'll go right back to the ground with Dickerson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. From the gun on third down, Everett. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Dickerson trying the right side. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. second quarter as they've got it second down and 11. Operating from the gun, Everett. Getting this into the hands of Eric Dickerson. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 20-yard line. We'll call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but 
we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. To throw on second down, Everett. Flush to his right, and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hold. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Back to throw. Everett, and this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. And his kick is good. Have the first points here. It's three nothing. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there, and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. running back and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34 yard line and that one was relatively easy to see I noticed that from up here yeah it doesn't take a whole lot does it sometimes you get multiple scores on these offsides is when each side points at the other hey you did it no you did it they deciphered that one correctly Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. And he'll give it here to his running back. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. San Francisco. On 
first down. It's Craig, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Young now. Flushed out right. Young into the slide, and he's got a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll try to throw now. Young. He's got it complete to Clark. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. Coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Yeah, need, to the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. And the 49er first down. with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Well, the Rams going to take over late in this first half as they'll take over with just under a minute left to play. a first and 10 now down inside the 20. 
throwing to start the drive. Everett looking middle, and it's incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And defensively going with a dime set. Six DBs on third and four. Looking to throw. Everett. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be fourth down. I know where we're headed on this. Terrific catch. Gets his feet down. Sets up a fourth down in short situation. But I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? You got to know where the marker is, right? Got to figure it out. I know every receiver is taught that. Sometimes circumstances change it. At least they have an opportunity to make a decision with not much yardage to go. Nowhere to go that time. It's a 46-yard punt with a loss on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Now a first down throw for Young. The right side, that's complete to Clark. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Play of the half, Young. Looking at that side, and he's got a man. That's Craig. Yeah, baby. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though. A look at the next-gen stats for the Niners in that first half. And it was a tricky half to figure out numbers-wise. They've got the lead, but you'd figure they're definitely talking about ways to get this passing game back on track. Meanwhile, for the Rams, they too have found passing lanes to be hard to come by so far. As you see by the numbers, they'll need to figure that out in the second half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this 